birthday. Yeah. Yeah. All night and you'll be calling out your workplace. Yeah. Now yeah. go off. Go off. I like it's your birthday. Yeah. Now yeah. go off. It's Saturday. And one more final. And I came to the UCLA library to study. Brought a little lunch and some matcha. It's about 4 p.m. now, heading back home before it gets too dark. Got some solid studying in, and now I'm gonna go do something Christmassy with my daughter. It's so crazy, I don't think I've ever seen the library so full as I did today. Normally you'll have like a bunch of empty seats, but today every single seat was filled because finals are next week here so stress levels are high <laughs> oh man it's such a trip it's such a trip taking finals again i mean like it's been a while <laughs> since i took a final and i think so much about how much i wish i had more discipline when i was an undergrad it's different being an adult and going back to school i like it I'm enjoying it a lot. What they gonna say? Now go out. It's Sunday morning and I'm about to head to the library to take my last final. I'm very excited to be done with finals. There's still a paper, but writing is more my jam, so I'm less stressed about that. Econ is not my jam, so we will see how this goes, but I got some really great studying in yesterday. And what I like to say is, I know more today than I did yesterday, so that's really what I'm looking for. So, continuing on my theme of Texas sweaters, today I have a tie-dye Bucky sweater. I have the best little sister, shout out to her. We have a pretty big age gap, and so I'm very much a millennial, and she's very much Gen Z. <laughs> and so I was, we were talking about this one TikTok that I saw that was about how millennials like to make the places they shop their whole personality. And when I sent that to her, she was like, does your Bucky sweater count too? <laughs> I felt so called out. And before y'all come for me for being a Berkeley student studying at UCLA, fun fact, UC libraries are open to the public because it's part of a land grant. So as a taxpayer, you are welcome to come to the library. So come to the Berkeley libraries. Welcome you with open arms. That was hard, but at least I'm all done. place you can vlog is in your car because it's the only quiet place <laughs> all right i just had to stop and film a video because oh man these last two days have been so good uh so many good things let's i guess start with yesterday yesterday i found out that me and my good friend stephanie are now going to be vp of alumni so that's awesome yay so there are different leadership roles that you can do when you're in the EMBA program and I can talk more about that later but um, we vote for some of these roles and so we're going to do VP of alumni which basically means that we're going to help the cohort stay connected with the alumni community. Um, Haas likes to say that you're an alumni from the moment you start because you should you know take advantage take uh, use your access to all of the people that have come before you in the program because they're a fantastic resource um, to learning about industries that you want to go in and uh, yeah so it, I'm excited to help facilitate those connections I really love bringing people together so I thought this would be a really great 
role for me. I also found out I get to be the class rep for our marketing class. I'm so excited because I work in marketing now and I'm excited to help the class with this role. And then also yesterday we did this assignment for our trust-based relationships class where we had to submit five people that helped us on our journey into helping us learn to build trust-based relationships. And it was really hard to pick just five because there's definitely more than five people that have helped me so far. Um, but we got to send these really nice messages to the people that helped us. And I got a few messages from my classmates that was so sweet and just like warmed my heart and made my whole year and oh, it's, it was so good. And you know, this is exactly why I wanted to go to a school like Berkeley because they're so thoughtful and so caring. And speaking of thoughtful and caring, today, today is the day that the first round admits for the next class, the class of 2026, found out the good news. So I'm, I'm so excited for them. The next class is already being built. Um, and so there were a few people that I got to talk to when they were asking questions as prospective students. And from the people I talked to, two of them got in. So I'm so excited for them. And I, I just called one this morning to congratulate him. And I, I'm just like genuinely so excited for him because he, he really made an impression on me. He's such a kind person. And I felt like, oh my gosh, this guy, he completely has the vibe, the culture of the school. And I was really hoping that he was gonna get in and he did. And not only that, he's also Latino. And so I'm so excited to, to be able to help fellow Latinos be part of this program because there's not enough of us in MBA programs anywhere. So that was just, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, so happy right now. And I, ah, oh, I just feel like, I just feel so, so blessed right now. Like, so thankful, so grateful for all of these things that are happening to be able to help people. Like, this is what I wanted. Like, this is, this was my goal, like to be able to help other Latinos get into these spaces. And it's happening and I'm so, so thrilled. So yeah, and it's Friday and it's a beautiful day. So it's gonna be a great day. Hey there. This is Chrissy from December of 2023. I am in Uvalde, Texas. I'm home for the holidays. I'm at my parents' house. And I just wanted to film a quick little video to wrap up term one because, because it's like officially done. And uh, we just got our grades before Christmas. We got all of our grades. And I'm happy to say that I passed. I passed all my classes. And yeah, now we're just kind of enjoying this nice little holiday break before we come back for term two. The first term is very quantitative heavy. And as a non-quantitative person, I was very nervous, but, uh, but I made it. And so I think, <laughs> I think I just wanna encourage people like, hey, if I can survive, and I, I am not good at math. So if I can survive, you can do it too. It just takes, you know, some some hard work, some some extra studying. A huge reason I was able to make it through really was the other people in my cohort. Like so many people went out of their way to either host extra study sessions for people or just answer questions one-on-one -on -one if you were confused on something or helping tutor people last minute uh, before the final in the Ashby room. Shout out BJ <laughs> and Miles. So I just want to say, you know, people told me like lean on your cohort. You're all there with different skills for a reason. I was so, so amazed at how people really did live that characteristic of beyond yourself to help the other people in the cohort that were struggling. Thank you to all my classmates. You guys helped me pass these classes. <laughs> That's a wrap on term one. And very, very quickly, we will be starting term two. We'll be back in about two weeks. So here we go, more vlogs, more adventures. All right, see ya.